Hi folks, Clinton Smout here from Smart Riding Adventures. What we have in front of us is a big muddy puddle because we've had a lot of rain at our school in the last week. How to get across that is again, that old word momentum, standing up, covering your clutch. Because it could be a clay bottomed mud puddle, if the back wheel starts spinning, it can actually move out to the right or left. If you're covering your clutch, that's how you recover with that lack of traction. But what we tell our customers when they're learning how to do big puddles, first of all, send your buddy through. I use one of the customers, I don't know how deep it is. But when it's ready to go, standing up, you get better handling with your feet doing the steering than the handlebars. So you never go in sitting down. Have a little shot of throttle before you get to the loose traction and try to carry your momentum. Avoid doing anything abrupt in the mud puddle, i.e. don't crack the throttle in there and try to spray your buddy. Don't shift gears, use aggressive braking. If you're in a rut created by other vehicles, don't try to change from the right tire track to the left while you're in the puddle. The other thing is your vision. vision. You want to look across the mud to see where you hope to end up and be flexible. So again, put an egg in each glove so you don't white knuckle the bar. The wheel is going to move around searching for traction. Let it. But your lower body standing is very tight to the bike. Let me show you how. Just to wrap up how to get through big puddles in mud, remember you don't need a lot of speed. Things can go wrong with traction, but you do need a shot of throttle just before you hit it so you have some momentum. Then don't do anything abrupt. Kind of inhale, get through the mud and breathe after. Cover your clutch, keep your eyes up, squeeze the motorcycle with lower body, very loose grip. You may have seen that wheel moving all over the place, but I didn't panic and shut the throttle off. The best thing is to get to the other side. And to achieve that, you just have to practice. So that's how to get through mud and puddles. I'm Clinton Smote from Smart Riding Adventures.